Hi, I'm Dave Liu with Guns.com, and today we're looking at the Terran Tactical and V7 collaboration rifle, the Harbinger 308. This is an ultralight rifle built to be, in my humble opinion, kind of a do-it-all, end-of-the-world kind of rifle. But we're not just doing a review today. Thanks to a partnership with Guns.com and a small veteran-owned company called Get Entered to Win, we are giving away this rifle. Even if you could afford the $4,000 sticker price of this rifle, uh, you'd still have to wait three months. But thanks to uh, Eric at uh, Get Entered to Win, uh, you could have this right when this contest ends. Entering is easy. Uh, all you gotta do is click on the description below and go to the website, purchase a limited edition Guns.com mug, and uh, that's it. Once you, every mug you purchase is a uh, one entry to the contest. So click on the link before October 9th and get entered to win. All right, back to the rifle. Now, the reason why I say this is a do-it-all, end-of-the-world rifle is about three main reasons. First, it's an AR platform. The AR platform is kind of ubiquitous. There's lots of parts available all over the place, and the battery of arms is very simple to use, and most people are familiar with it. Uh, people hunt with AR-15s. People, of course, defend their life and their country with AR-15s. And also, people, tons of people compete with them. Second is the weight. This thing is really light. You could carry this all day long, whether it being in a competition or hunting. And finally, the caliber, 308. 308 is a tried and true battle-tested cartridge. People have hunted with it, wars have been won with it, so it won't let you down. Also, the 308 round is basically ubiquitous all around the world. There's pretty much no corner of the world you can go to where you wouldn't be able to find 308. So in the end of the world scenario, it's probably the best caliber out there. All right, so that's all theory. How did this gun actually perform? Well, there's just something to shoot in 308. I mean, I love my 223s, I love my 9mm pistols, but sometimes shooting big boy calibers, like 30 calibers and a, or a 45 and a pistol, there's just something about it. It just it feels better, it feels solid, it feels like you're really throwing lead down there. Performance-wise, this gun shoots phenomenally. Uh, it has a low uh, mass uh, bolt carrier group and a special weighted H3 buffer, which put together gives you a super smooth shooting feeling. That incorporated with the uh, really nice Terran Tactical muzzle brake makes it an incredibly controllable rifle, even for a 308. The lightweight and outstanding balance of this gun allowed me to do transitions extremely fast, especially with, even with, so with a, uh, a light recoiling 308, I got really heavy, hard 308 shots downrange fast and accurately. And the final part about that is it ran flawlessly. Not one malfunction in all my testing with a number of different ammunitions. Now I set this rifle up with some of my personal optics. I put on a US Optics 1-8 scope and a 35 degree offset red dot holosun. Now this is really a two gun, three gun kind of optic setups and I think this gun is, this is where this gun really shines. Um, in competitions like this I set up a few some scenarios like a two gun, three gun scenarios where you have some short range targets and maybe a 50 yard medium range target. And yeah, this gun did phenomenally. If you do your job and you know how to control the recoil, this gun will run all day long and give you fantastic results. It's actually perfect for a heavy metal division gun. So if that's your thing, this is your rifle. Now with this short 14 and a half inch barrel, it's not a precision precision rifle, so I wouldn't take it to a PRS competition. But I was able to get good man-sized target hits past 100 yards easily and probably out to 300. Ballistically, even out of this short barrel, the 308 round will go, will stay supersonic almost out to 1,000 yards. Now I classify this as more of a experienced shooter gun. Uh, of course, novice will love shooting it because really everybody loves shooting heavy 308 rounds. But to be able to control recoil, you really need to have a little bit of a shooting experience. Now, if you do, or you want to learn it, once you understand body mechanics, once you understand how to absorb recoil, this gun's actually really easy. It doesn't take too much, especially with this muzzle brake. Once you kind of master the recoil impulse, it shoots really nice and flat. Now, I've talked about Terran Tactical before, TTI. It's the uh, John Wick company, right? Uh, TTI makes basically high-end ra drag racing guns. Now, its collaborator, V7, is a little bit less well-known, but they still do fantastic work and have a very good reputation. V7 is owned by Joel Allen. He used to be the lead technician over at Navorsky. Now, if you know Navorsky Rifle Works, you know that's synonymous with quality, and with that experience, he clearly knows how to build a rifle. Now, the first thing people notice is the weight of this gun. The bear gun comes in at under seven pounds. 
that's crazy light for a 308 rifle. Now with my optics, and this is kind of a heavier optic setup, there's a scope, there's a high mount and an offset red dot, that adds about two pounds to the rifle. But still, a nine pound rifle for a competition setup, that's unheard of, it's very light. The way V7 did this was first, they took their receiver and milled out as much of you know, extra material as they could while keeping rigidity. Then they fluted the barrel and cut the barrel down to 14 and a half inches. They pin and welded the TTI compensator on the end to extend the barrel length out to the legal 16 inch rifle length. From there, they lightened almost every part. I mean, even the dust port door is a lightened version of a dust port. The rod for the dust port door is lightened. The uh, forward assist has been lightened. Even the mag catch takedown pins, even the castle nut are lightweight versions of themselves. Finally, the buffer retainer pin and even the screw that holds the grip in, they're titanium. And of course, before I mentioned, they have a lightened bolt carrier group. Now, the coolest lightweight feature, in my opinion, are the hand guard and buffer tube. They're made of lithium aluminum. I actually don't know what that is. From what I understand, it's a space age material that's super light and super strong. All I know is what I can do research online, but I think it's pretty cool. So rounding out the build are a lightweight Radian charging handle, a hyperfire trigger, and a BCM stock. I love Radian charging handles. I actually use them exclusively in all my guns. I just love all the feature sets on Radian charging handles. Since reviewing all these TTI guns, I love these hyperfire triggers. This one's actually the Eclipse, and it's absolutely fantastic. Manufactured, it's supposed to be a two and a half pound trigger. Uh, on my trigger scale, I got about three, but it's super crisp, super short reset. It's just a fantastic trigger. And I'm sure this is a brand new gun, so maybe when you work it in a little bit, it'll may probably drop down to about two and a half. Now, turning to some criticisms, I would have to say, for this price, I liked a little bit of adjustability in the gas system. Now, I understand the argument, if, it's not adjust, if it is adjustable, then there's possibilities of malfunction in those adjustments, and that is true. And this rifle ran 100% flawlessly. So, in that sense, that's great. But for me, I'd like to have a little bit of adjustability. Maybe adjustable gas block, maybe an adjustable carrier or an adjustable buffer weight, uh, just so I could tune the rifle a little bit more, especially maybe I'll, I might want to put on a suppressor and sometimes that kind of monkeys things up. I'd also like ambi controls. I mean, I have no problems with standard controls and I'm really used to them, but ambi controls are nice. And finally, I'd like uh, the ability to change the caliber. Now, because this is an AR pattern rifle, you can change the caliber. You can All you need to do is change the barrel, change the bolt, and boom, you got a new caliber in it. But for the manufacturer, I'd like to have a few options. For instance, 6.5 Creedmoor. Maybe it's not as available as a 308, but the ballistics are a little bit better. So in conclusion, my opinion is this is a connoisseur rifle. It's not an inexpensive, large pattern AR rifle, but if you like the finer things, if you notice the finer details, such as the safety selector is actually a 57 degree throw and it has a titanium core on the inside, or the buffer tube, the inside of the buffer tube is infused with Teflon. If you like all those things and you can appreciate the performance, little bits of the performance that that gives you, then you will love this rifle. I can honestly say this rifle will probably handle anything you throw at it. Well, I hope you like this review. I absolutely loved this gun. But don't forget, you could actually win this gun. Uh, go to the description, click on the link, purchase a mug, and get entered to win. <laughs>